This is a selfie. And it's not what I look like because selfies are not what anyone looks like. See, when you take a selfie, it increases the size of your nose by about 30%. This distorts the proportions of your face and makes you look overall less attractive. This is part of the reason why we tend to like our reflections but dislike the way we look in pictures. But even if you're looking into a mirror right now, that still isn't how you look. As we've discussed before, you and your sense of vision are biased. Your eyes take in light and then your brain makes something out of it because your brain doesn't just want an image, it wants an image that it can understand, something that makes sense to you. And this is a picture of the dress from 2015 and regardless of if you've seen it as black and blue or white and gold, we were all wrong. The only colors in this picture are purple and very dingy orange. See, the whole dress thing was an experiment in perception. And our perception is not reality. It can be tricked and distorted. And our self-perception is also not reality. We want to make sense of ourselves the same way that we want to make sense of this dress. And this is where our biases come in. See, we tend to be our own worst critics and to a degree, this can be a good thing. It's considered a good trait in a leader to look within yourself for the issue rather than looking at other people for it. This is a good thing, but like most good things, only in moderation. This can lead you to developing a negative self-appraisal. For example, you come up with the idea that say you look bad and so you look in a mirror to find flaws and you find them because everyone has flaws. And after you find those flaws, you use them to reinforce the initial idea that you look bad. In this way, the physical biases that you put on yourself are almost always harsher than those that other people put on you. If this were a different culture or time period, we would have a different idea of what beautiful was because beauty is largely dependent on place and time. If you want to make yourself more attractive, you should be kind. In studies where participants were asked to rate the attractiveness of two strangers, one acting altruistically or putting the needs of others first and another just being neutral, the altruistic one was almost always seen as more attractive. Even when the two actors were switched, people usually picked the altruistic one. And that remained true regardless of gender or culture. It's like Helen Keller said, the most beautiful things cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt. Thank you for watching.